Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Manzanar War Relocation Center National Park Service. Okay, this is going to be a lot of double coloring, triple coloring. So we're going to go right here in the center and we're going to put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a triangle. From the left we draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up. Now we're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line up, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, straight line over, connect. Now in this part right here there are Japanese characters that say Soul Consoling Tower but because I'm not going to do Japanese characters because they're very intense, they're beautiful, I'm just going to put spiral, spiral, spiral. And you can Google Manzanar Relocation Center and you can see what this looks like. And what we're going to do is we're going to start over here on the left and we're just going to draw a dot and we're going to go curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, put a dot, Curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Jump over, come over here on the right. We're going to do the same thing. Put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Starting on the left, slightly wavy line, jump over. Wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line. And I'll explain what all of this is once we get done drawing. Come back to the left. Now we're going to mimic that line. Wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line. Jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over. Come over here on the left, we're just going to put a dot and we're just going to draw a curve line, straight line, up, connect. And now on the left hand side right here, put a dot, curve line, straight line, connect, put a dot, curve line, straight line, Connect, one more if you can do it, put a dot, curve line, straight line, connect. In between these two, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Now we're going to do the same thing over here on the right. Put a dot, curve line, straight line, connect, put a dot, curve line, straight line, connect. Put a dot, curve line, straight line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Now come up above and we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line. Jump over, wavy line off our page. Come back to the left, wavy line. Jump over, wavy line off the page. Come up on the upper left, we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line, curve line, wavy line, up, down, over, up, down, off the page. Okay, now we'll try and color this all in. Okay, we're going to be doing a lot of double coloring. I'm going to start down on these layers 
And I'm just going to loop-de-loop -loop the first color, which is apricot or peach. If you don't have that, you can use yellow or yellow-orange just to get down that first layer of color. Then, over that, there's a little bit of vegetation, so I'm going to use my yellow-green and go over that and around this space towards the foreground of our drawing. This whole space stays white. Next, I take my gray and I'm going to color this loop-de-loop, -loop, jump over, I'm going to color this gray. Now, this is in the Japanese internment camp, is in kind of a desert situation, so there's a lot of layered grit. So this next layer I'm going to do brown, jump over, all the way over. Okay. Now, these posts are a different color brown I have. If you don't have a different color brown, again, you can use orange, you can use yellow. Jump over. But these posts are brown. And these posts, these are also posts, these are also brown. And really what this is, is a cemetery marker for the Japanese that died in the camp. Okay. Now, the next part, I'm going to start off with my gray again. These are the Sierra Mountains. So I'm just going to put some gray down just to add a little bit of base color. Then, over it, I'm going to use my blue-green. It's a mountain range, and when you look at it, from far away, there's snow, it's blue, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Then with my regular blue, I'm going to pull it all together, loop-de-loop, -loop, so this one space has three different colors. And when you see photographs of Manzanar, you look at it and you go, what a beautiful space. But in reality, it was very desolate and dry, like in the desert, with winds, really windy, windy. It was really kind of a horrible place to be. Now, when I come in, I'm going to put a little bit of dark blue to just kind of give it a little bit of texture for the mountain range because it was surrounded by the mountains. Then, my last thing, I chose purple. You could do this also in blue, but I chose purple because I wanted the sky to be distinguished from the mountain range, so I used purple. All of this you can make your own. The only thing that needs to stay the same color is the white of the monument. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Manzanar War Relocation Center all colored in. Prior to the Japanese being here, the Paiutes and the Shoshone indigenous peoples used this area. This whole section is the sole consoling tower. And sometimes people call this a Japanese American internment camp. Other people say it's a concentration camp. And this was all because everybody was the American government, federal government during World War II, interred all of the Japanese, regardless if they were American citizens or not, in these camps because of Pearl Harbor. Look it up, lots of information. Okay, bye-bye.